Hello everybody, welcome back. <sighs> so I'm gonna say is ugh. I do not like this place. I do not like this place. I I do not like it, Sam. I am. Oh, no, 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 no. What the hell? I watched him. So what you're trying to do? Oh, the only bathroom I know is on the first floor. Mark that box. What? I do not like hospitals anymore. I'm just going to say that. Freaking. There's rocks on the ground.
Okay, we're going this way. No, please don't something attack me. Please don't something attack me at all. Hey, Mama Room. She walks in front of me and looks at me again with those pleading eyes. What is it? Sachika doesn't remember going to school with everyone. I don't remember living with you either. So, who am I? You told me that, told me I had a Mama and Papa before, but I would, was that a lie? She's shaking. She's pretty torn over over this. How odd. She never worried about her heritage like this when she was still in the hospital. Maybe she changed after living and dying during the time we spent in this world with her friends. Can you answer her question? I cannot bear to see Sachika like this. My mind, don't worry. I already planned on explaining everything. Now, where shall we begin? Oh, would you like to hear some cute stories about my sister and me? Camping, cosplay, pottery. Some other time. It's a shame. Let's start talking about that incident. The day you all killed my sister with Kiyosuke Kurosaka. That is. Oh dear. It was a little over a year since I'd begun living with Sachika. Every day was we with her was filled with love. Sachika was more than a little sister. We completed each other, and she was the one, only one who understood me. I wish these days would last forever, but shortly after that, the incident occurred. What I saw in that garage that day were the remains of my sister after that cruel and heinous act. I wanted to scream every time and I think about it. It wasn't a sh there wasn't a shred of respect for human dignity. Pieces of her were strewn around the floor like building blocks after a child played with them. I couldn't believe it. I didn't want to. Her eyes were wide open when I picked her when I picked her head up out of the sea of blood, then it hit me. I lost my only love in the world. I heard something breaking inside me. The year twenty I mean, two thousand four funeral hall in Mashiro City. This is just harsh. It may not be possible now, but what about in 10 years? 
Once medical science has advanced more, there may be a way to treat her. Like cloning. Everyone was talking about Dolly the sheep some time ago. What if we could clone humans too? If no one finds a, a way, I will. Sachika's mother. She only saw Sachika as a research subject. Now she wants to act like a grieving mother. Piece of work. I trusted the future and put Sachika in cryo sleep, quitting Kyo Academy to focus on my studies. I plan to enroll in medical school and then and use it as a foothold for research in regenerative medicine. Sachika had become a big part of me that she completely changed the course of my life. As a man of mediocrity without the great mind of my parents, I knew I would have, it would be a hard road ahead, but still, it was the only path I had left, the only path that kept my heart beating were the happy memories I had with her. this game. Come on. It's like freaking cheap as hell. Are you freaking kidding me?
Yeah, I'm not falling in that. Stupid. What? What? What did I get? Needs five pounds. I don't think I have anything that's five pounds. I got fifty of these. Should be about five pounds. That means I'm gonna lose my arrows. said the first human clone in the world was born here. That means the extend machine was built in this hospital too. I don't know about that. According to the madam, the clone research was being done by Mani, right? Although they do have one thing in common, Mashiro group is somehow involved. They talked out loud as they searched the area as if inviting me to answer. It is obvious what they're doing, but I decided to play along as I mean, so they'll let their guard down. Right. You two aren't wrong. This hospital was originally Manny's predecessor, known as Mashiro Medical Labs. Research and development for the medical equipment, uh, such as micro machines, were conducted here but one day research on human cloning be, uh, began being conducted in secret I'm sure you know why Miss Yuma they were my father's orders probably because my mother passed away yeah as a result the extended machine unit one was created here Money was newly established with the research and staff carried over later on. So when Sachika died, when Sachika was killed because of us, you wanted to bring her back to life. So you wanted to have, so you must have created the Extend Machine at Mashiro Medical Labs. Rinko utterly utters apologetically is she just now feeling remorse for abandoning my sister? It's far too late for that. I'd like to point out I didn't perfect the cloning theory or create the extend machine. A mediocre man like myself could never hope to achieve such a feat. You've seen the footage of experience at Manny during the Extend TV episode of Bella Moi. The doctors, uh, the doctor shows that the footage was was the creator of the extend machine. I was there too, as an assistant. You probably didn't even notice. Who exactly was he anyway? He seemed to have a couple of screws loose. It must have been Dr. Terashima. He was the director of Mani. A brilliant scientist who created many, many patents, who created many patents in nanotechnology and other fields of science. To add, he's Sachika's and my father. Father? Dr. 
Darchi Terashima. The man who only saw us for the extent of our talent. While we're at it, I'll talk about the time I joined medical school and met my father. Months passed after the incident and I became a fifth year medical student. Trying to find a way to re revive Sachika was like trying to catch water with my bare hands. There was no one to guide me, no one, I mean, and the more I studied, the more I was filled with impatience and despair. In the midst of all this, I, said, I was suddenly summoned by my father. I thought it odd, but I went to Mashiro Medical Labs as I was told. There I saw someone I never expected to see. Hey, Maru, it's been a while. Holy Jesus. As usual, you look like you're carrying all the misery of the world on your shoulders. Wait, hold on just a minute. That girl, standing at your side. Oh, she's your new little sister. Thought I may as well as introduce you. You had a... Just say. What's going on here? Did you just say Sachika? Did you take a rug into the face? Thanks for the fun reaction. I heard you've been absorbed in your self studies lately. So? I'm sure you have some idea who or what she is. Uh, you mean she's a clone? Exactly. She's the world's first human clone created from Sachika's cells. You can probably tell by now how much she's grown, but it's been about three years since she was made. While well, you've been wasting your time, science has been making steady progress. But, how did you get her cells? Oh, I re, re, uh, routinely conducted health checkups on her. So I have, I have all her genetic data, like her blood samples. This can't be. She may be small, but I definitely see Sachika in her. Even her hair and eye color. go without saying, but she didn't retain any of her previous memories. Clone Sachika here is a completely different person, just with the same genetic makeup. But she's awfully lacking in emotion, and quite a slow thinker, a defect. A shame, but I'll be disposing of her. You're gonna kill her? Yep, already accomplished my goal. Of surprising you, so no reason to offer. So no reason not to offer now. Besides, I want to revive Sachika for her brilliant mind and memories. You don't have need of Sachika, who doesn't know anything about herself, do you? But that doesn't mean you should kill her. Let's forget about her and move on to the main topic, Mamaru. Have you? You have it, don't you? 
have what? You know, the body. Sachika's B O D Y. You took it the night of the funeral, didn't you? Can I have it back? If I extract memories from her brain, I may be able to recreate a perfect Sachika. Let me clone Sachika. How do you know about that? No, no, more importantly. He's going to dispose of her? Mamoru, you can spend your whole life trying to bring Sachika back to life and never manage it. Handing her body over is the quickest way for you to get what you want. Uh, I'll do it under one condition. In exchange for bo Sachika's body, let me participate in your research. Uh, sure, that's fine. We're actually in the middle of moving to a new facility. I am the director there, so I can get you in. No problem. And one more thing. I want to take this girl in. You sure? You'll regret it, you know. The more time you spend with her, the more you'll realize she's not Sachika. I'll think about it when the time comes. Oh, well, do what you want. But you can't take her to your place. Her existence is top secret, so we cannot let her outside. Once we're done moving, this place will be turned into a hospital. So you can keep her here, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, then that's a deal. Welcome aboard. That was my reunion with Dr. T Terashima, as well as my first meeting with Glon Sachika. After graduating med school, I joined Mani and became a physician at Har Harasaka Mem Memorial Hospital. All to give my beloved Sachika back, I watched over clone Sachika. But eventually, I came to regret my decision as my father had warned me. I realized clone Sachika would never be able to replace the real Sachika. Yay, there's the level one key card. Hooray, key cards. Why are you hurt? Uh, why are we always hurting? <sighs> Save point would be nice. But there's probably like six or seven floors here. kidding me you know what I'm gonna have to do it there's way too much at stake here Shadow Man, huh? Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you have been enjoying this. I'm slowly starting to hate Mamoru even more than I should. So, yeah, we're just going to leave it like that. Come on. Jeez, Rio, you have a lot of foot points, don't you? Anyway, just gonna, like I said, any in here. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.